Okay, uh, my name's Jeff. Uh, my call sign is KT6A, and I'm getting ready for the ARRL field day. Uh, it's about, uh, I guess it's 1710 UTC, uh, 1 o'clock, 110 uh, uh, p.m. in Eastern Time Zone. I'm here in my ratty old pop-up camper uh, at my parents' uh, place because that's where I store it, and that's where my dad has a, a wonderful array of solar panels that he uses there's a whole set there whole set right there a couple of them there and where they go right now see I'm going to operate my station off of uh, natural power solar power that goes in to through a charge controller to a bank of batteries and I'm just tapping off this bank of batteries these batteries will actually run about one-third of the household uh, over 24 hour period. I don't know if you can see it on the charge controller here. 14.3 um, 14 point, 14 volts out. So 52.2 volts in from the solar cells. Um, I can also run it off this 5000 watt inverter if I wanted to. Um, this is a true sine wave inverter that he uses to power the house. And plenty of spare batteries to go around. Um, so that's how I'm going to power it. I have, uh, I'm actually tapping off the batteries with uh, some 12 gauge, uh, what do they call it, landscape wiring. And it goes into the, my, I'm giving myself a single group name, the KT6A Commandos. Um, there's my soldering iron. I still have to put on some PL259s. I will not be starting this uh, at uh, 2 o'clock eastern when everybody else is starting because i'm not going for points i'm going to see if i can do stuff um so i actually have the wires coming into and the only reason why i'm doing this is because i don't have i, I don't have any power poles anderson power poles i'm just i just need something to put um 12 volts to that i can at least tap off for other devices in fact the power cord for this thing is here and it's going to stay there um but my uh my ICOM 706 is uh, already pre-wired to this, so um, I'll plug this in. And I also have, if I can show it, up in that tree, I have a very weirdly oriented but cut to the middle of the 40 meter band dipole. I'm going to start out with that, and that's and later on I'm going to use my... Um, I guess it's like an outback or it's a multi-band vertical that's in that box. I'll use that later. That's actually going to go out onto the pole you see sticking up just there. There's a little pole sticking up. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to mount it on that pole uh, with a couple of radials and elevator like that. I won't need so many radials. But anyway, I have the dipole directly connected. Let's make sure my power is okay. And there we go. Um, let me go down to running QRP also, so low power on a 706 is 5 watts. Um, let's go down to the, go down the band here, and let's see what my SWR is. I think I have it cut for 7.15. We'll go there, and where did I put my microphone? Isn't that silly? I forgot my microphone. Let's hope I didn't forget it, forget it. Oh, no, there it is. Hang on. <clears throat> well, I can't show you any more right now until I figure out where I put my microphone. Oh, no, there it is. I started cleaning everything out. Sorry about the delay on this. But I, uh... I have to remember which way this went in. Uh, that side. There we go. Now I'm going to go to ready mode so I can produce a carrier. And let's go to meter so I can check my SWR. I key this up and it looks like I have good SWR. It's very low. So that should be a fairly efficient antenna. I do have a tuner if I want to use one. Um, but I want it, I may use a tuner just to check the antenna, 
but uh, and then I'll take the tuner out of line just so I can you know have as minimal loss as possible because when you're running QRP you need that kind of stuff anyway that's it I'm all set up I got my water my soda my beer hop back amber ale good good local brew by a company called Trogues and uh, and I'll catch you guys on the air KT6A 73s